Hey everybody, welcome back to another crazy advanced warfare live commentary guys As you guys can see judging by today's video title This is another really close streak to the DNA bomb video And I know the quality is really bad The reason why the quality is really bad in today's video is because I had to put this through movie maker once again And that completely completely ruined the quality But hey if you guys go to go down to the toolbar thing on YouTube and, it, and you click on quality And then you go to 40 uh 480 frames per second that should at least make it you know a little bit better than it probably is right now and if it's already at the top quality that means wherever you are the internet is good so stay there but either way guys let's remind to what this video is basically about so I ended up going on a 25 gun streak and you guys are gonna see this I went flawless as well and I was turning up so freaking hard okay I was just going crazy and you guys will not believe what happened to my luck at that second I, all, I only needed like one more bullet to kill the guy and all he did all I had to do was one more bullet to kill the guy, and bam. I ran out of ammo at that exact second, and I ended up dying, and you will see that sooner or later. But either way, guys, this is a pretty close uh, gameplay, so I just had to upload it for today's video. And speaking of glitches, for all you people who subscribe to me for glitches, I figured out a brand new way on how to get out of the map retreat. I will be uploading that after this video, so make sure you guys uh, look out for that. But either way, guys, let's jump right into today's commentary topic for today. And so today, what I'm going to be talking about real fast... <clears throat> is about what happened to me today. It's kind of funny because like today's commentary topic is about what happened to me today. So what happened was I was in computer engineering robotics. Like basically I have this class called computer engineering robotics. And so I take that every day. I'm in high school if you guys didn't know that. I'm a freshman in high school. And so I take that class and somebody in my class decided to take a drink. Okay, like, we're in a computer engineering robotics class. I want you guys to keep that in mind. So there's computer, like, there's computers everywhere in our class. And so I am in a computer lab right now, okay? Keep that in mind. And obviously, everybody knows the rules. Don't put water next to a computer. You guys already know what's going to happen. And so this man, he comes in drinking his juice instead of water, right? And so he goes, sits down. And it's so funny how this happens because basically, we had a substitute that day. So basically, the day that we had a substitute, something bad happened. And it's so funny how that works, and it's, this is what happens. So he goes down, he sits down with his drink, okay? And he's drinking, and I think somebody makes him laugh, like somebody just pulling out jokes, like, in the middle of class. And he starts laughing, and he starts choking on the drink. And while he's choking on the drink, next thing you know, he spills the bottle. The bottle goes onto a computer that was turned on and goes inside. And so he takes the bottle, he cleans up the mask before anybody notices, and he goes, throws away the bottle, and he goes back to sit down. And you guys will not believe what happens after a few minutes. After a few minutes, you hear this... Like, it's just like this, it's like a popping noise. You hear this crazy popping noise out of nowhere. And everybody starts to freak out, like, what happened? And then he runs, like, he runs full speed. And he takes his backpack, he takes his pencil, and he's like, I didn't do it, I didn't do it, I didn't do it. He just runs to the door. And it's so funny, because it's kind of obvious he did it. But everybody's trying to protect him, so we try to keep calm in front of everybody. And the substitute's over here like, what's going on? And then the computer starts going so crazy. I can't even explain to you guys how crazy the computer starts going. It starts making all these popping noises, and everybody gets scared. Everybody's scared that the computer's about to explode at any second. And everybody just running and they're just waiting right next to the door. And people are all like, go get the fire extinguisher, go get the fire extinguisher. I'm like, dang, just calm down. I mean, if, even if it does explode, like, we still have time to run. We're not, we're not right next to an exit. And so we're just waiting there, right? Like, we're, our hands held to the door just in case that thing explodes and takes all the whole room with it. We're gone. And so we're just waiting there and then it completely stops. And so we're waiting by the door. We wait like four to five minutes and the popping noises stop. So we decide, you know what, it's probably safe to go back to our desk and start working again. So we go back to our desk, and it's so funny how this happens. Right when we sit down, it starts going again. But this time, it goes crazy. It starts doing poppings, like, every two seconds, like, pop, 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 pop. And so we all start running full speed. We literally run out, and we stay in the hallway. Because it's already smelling bad in the room, and this is scaring the hell out of us. And it just keeps on doing those crazy noises for about four minutes until it stops again. And so this time, we wait about four minutes again and we go back into our class. And you would not believe what happens. Instead of the popping noises, there was this one huge pop. And everybody got so scared that they literally, people were running so fast when that happened that they dropped to the floor, they fell down and everything. And then when we turn around to see the computer, 
it's on fire. Like, legit. The computer is on fire. But we got lucky because the fire wasn't that big. And the flame got taken out, like, right away. Like, it came up and then it went away and then there was just smoke. And the whole computer area was just filled up with all this smoke. And it was just so crazy. And then we called the principal came down. He, like, checked the computer. They took it out. They tried to find out who it was, but they couldn't because there were no, like, cameras inside the classroom. And everybody was holding back the guy. Like, they were helping him out. They were trying not to, you know, <clears throat> tell on anybody. So he couldn't figure out who it was. And at the end of the day, we were all okay. So that's always good to know, you know. We were all okay at the end of the day. And nothing bad really ended up happening. So that was all good. But uh, <clears throat> that's basically it for today, guys. I was... Basically, probably really, I was I was really scared, guys. I can't I can't explain how scared I was today. What well, that had happened, but um, after all, you know, everything was okay, and it was actually pretty funny at the end of it. You know, it was, it was really funny how it worked out. But man, the smell stayed in that classroom. That smell was so bad. Like we were trying to breathe, we couldn't breathe. And then you know, the principal came in, they cleared it out, they took out the laptop, and it was just an amazing experience to have. Amazing to be able to skip the class, because it's funny, because that exact day, I decided not to do my work, and just play the whole time, and so while I was playing, it just happened, and I was like, hey, let's go, let's go, hey. Hey, let's go, man. Let's go. It's, it's working out my way. But either way, guys, uh, this uh, the, my commentary topic is basically coming to an end. As you guys can see, I call my paladin here. I already died off the streak, I think. Yeah, I did already die off the streak. And so it was pretty really... It just made me really mad whenever I died off the streak in this game. I mean, really mad. I was just like, okay, I better drop like a DNA bomb this next round. But that did not end up happening. In fact, I, I went on a merciless the next round, but I ended up dying again. So I'm just going to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay if you guys want. And if you guys want to watch the rest of it, that is. But either way, guys, I'm going to be out. So I hope you guys... Uh, but either way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And for all of you guys who are looking out for my glitches, my next glitch is going to be a retreat out of map. This is a brand new way... This is not the brand new way that you guys have already seen. This is a complete easier way to do it. It's it's similar to the brand new way, but it's more easier and a little bit different. So either way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And yeah, so yeah. Securing B. Taking B. Our UAV is online. Enemy UAV online. Securing challenge. We're winning this fight. Enemy taking Alpha. Enemy UAV online. We lost Alpha. Secure. Friendly XS1 Falcon inbound. <laughs> Friendly assault drone inbound. Losing B. Friendly UAV above. Enemy taking B. Securing B. B secure. Friendly missile strikes incoming. Squad, that was textbook. <laughs>